What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about Inside, not the French horror film where some chick cuts a baby out of some chick's stomach. Uh, this is a thriller that came out in, on February 26, 2008 and it was released by Echo Bridge Entertainment. Uh, it stars Nicholas D. Augusto and Cheryl White and like five other people. This is a micro budget thriller. Uh, it was produced, written, and directed by Jeff Mahler. And this is the only film he's done so today, so that I can find anyway. So, um, but yeah, this is a thriller. This is actually pretty good. I was pretty impressed with this movie. Uh, it's actually suspenseful and uh, moving, and you care about the characters a lot. This film. So basically, the plot of this movie is there's a kid, like a twenty or something year old guy, and um, yeah, he basically loses his parents in a car. Like a car accident or some sort of accident, and he lives on his own, and it sort of becomes introverted. So he doesn't like talk. He's not very social or anything. So he kind of like just creeps at people. So he becomes friends with this one chick. Can't remember her name right off the top of my head, but yeah, at the library because he's helping his grandmother out at the library, local library. So he sees her, meets her. And then they sort of build a little bit of friendship and she gets like an insight on why he's like that. And then and then he basically, while she's off at school, he's at the library and he sort of finds one couple intriguing. So he starts like creeping on them. They lost their kid in an accident. And uh, he, yeah, so he basically follows them home and creeps in their house and listens to their conversation. And then they catch him. And uh, basically... Uh, he thinks, like, oh, no, it's going to be a problem. But then uh, they're like, no, stay. They start feeding him, and then he stays there for a couple days, and they slowly basically try to groom him into being their child. And it's sl a slow burn, but it is really suspenseful and annoying. They do something to his feet, uh, so he can't walk. He tries to escape. He gets hit by a car, and he's almost paralyzed. He's strapped him to a bed, and basically the mother has like a mental breakdown and tries to convince him that he's their son even though he's not and uh so he's stuck in this predicament and the uh, husband sort of lets her go with it even though he knows it's wrong and stuff and uh basically it just plays up from there to the point where he basically pretends that he's their son pretends that he dies and then they bury him in the backyard and then the chick comes i might be spoiling this by the way uh but then his friend that he meets earlier in the film comes looking for him because she hasn't seen him in a few days. Went to his house, hasn't been there, wife will do all his stuff, and he still hasn't shown up. So he basically, she basically goes and finds him, digs him out of the backyard because he's alive still. And they basically try to escape. And then the climax of the film is basically to just convince them that he's not their son. And uh, overall, this is a pretty good film. Well written. Characters you can relate to somewhat. Um, most of them are likable. It's sort of like one where it makes you like want to yell at the TV a bit, which is kind of which is pretty good. For a micro thriller, I was pretty impressed with this. So, uh, but yeah, it's engaging. It's annoying sometimes. It's cool. It's filmed like a soap opera, so it is a slow burn and a little a little boring at some points. But overall, it's still pretty well done. If I was gonna rate out, I'd give it probably about a four out of five so yeah definitely check it out if you look it up it has to you have to type in it, inside 2008 film i'll link the trailer down below so you can just click that and see what i'm talking about but i definitely think more people should check this one out it's a little off-putting at first and the acting's actually pretty good in this film too for a micro budget film so overall i thought it was pretty well done people should check it out more uh there's not much else to really complain about it it is not very like it is very dull in some scenes but yeah, you'll get through that and stuff. So, yeah, check it out. Um, yeah, my Instagram's linked down below too, where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. So, make sure you follow me there. Subscribe to my channel if you like hearing my opinions on movies and hearing about movies you probably never even heard existed. Uh, yeah, like, like this video. Comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought. And other thrillers. If there's other thrillers out there you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below too. I'll try my hardest to get to them. And. Yeah, hopefully no one's creepy enough to creep around my house because they'll be mentally disturbed.